Hey everyone, I'm Sensei Ben Ginsberg, um, and today I want to talk a little bit about, uh, last, last time I talked about how martial arts was a pillar of support in my life, and today I want to talk about another pillar of support, which is, for me, my Jewish background. Now, I grew up with my mother as a rabbi and my dad, who has been a Jewish professional for most of his life, so Judaism has sort of infused every aspect of my life. Um, especially as I've started getting older and I've started becoming more interested in the more complicated aspects of it. Now you may be thinking, well, what does a 4,000-year-old religion have to do with martial arts? And that's a really good question. Uh, I would say quite a lot. Um, a lot of the core aspects of what makes Judaism so influential in the world are very similar to the things that make martial arts influential. Both of them are thousands and thousands of years old, and way more ancient than anything that I can comprehend. Um, even though Hapkido is something that is a relatively more modern martial arts form, martial arts as, as a whole are completely beyond something that probably any of us can comprehend. Kung Fu goes back to the very earliest days of China, and Pankration is back to the time of Alexander the Great. These are really old, old things. Um, and I remember I was studying something, uh, something that's familiar to most people, Psalm 23, uh, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, etc. And some scholars think that shepherds were some of the world's first martial artists. Uh, so that's something to wrap your brain around. But part of that idea of being a shepherd, it's not just someone who goes off and fighting people. At a core value, it's someone who has to protect other people, who has to be a leader to other people. And those are ideas that both Judaism and martial arts have very much in common that both of them are not just ideas of how to fight people. Martial arts is not just about fighting. Martial arts is very much about conflict avoidance, about self-defense, at least it is to me. Um, and it's the same idea when it comes to Judaism as well, that you're looking at something that can be a positive influence to people, something that is going to leave a lasting impact on the world of good. When I think about what kind of impression I want to leave when I, hopefully many, many years from now, when I'm gone, I think that the most important things are passing on these ancient traditions to my children, to my students, to anyone that I might come into contact with that the most valuable parts of both martial arts and of Judaism are when they are passed along and when they are actively pursued by the next generation. When we say here at TKC, you can fake a lot of things, but the most value comes out of when you really apply yourself to these topics. That's when you get the most value out of them. And I think for me that's how that's how they've both become those pillars of support in my life and how they've been positive influences in my life.